Visit our fabulous sponsor, Ka Gold Jewelry, link in the description below. Hello, fabulous Cancer. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of May 2019, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. And it really is a month where you are going to feel brighter and stronger and more courageous than you have felt in a while. There is a surge of energy coming for you. And you add to this some really beautifully social energy as well. Well, it looks like it's going to be a busy and fun month. And then you add to this a true sense of empowerment being restored for you. So let's start there with the power. And the power is Mars right in the middle of the month. Mars will move into your sign. Now Mars only moves into a sign, well, about once every two years or so. So when Mars comes along, it tends to be a notable energy. It is as if very quickly you feel awakened, you may feel an adrenaline rush, uh, you may feel a sense of perhaps frustration as well. And there's a reason for that. It is a divine discontent. It is ultimately an energy that is asking you to take ownership for where it is that you can move your life towards the changes that you desire. And as part of this, you may find yourself being more motivated uh, to take action, to be brave, to ask for the things you want, but more importantly, to put in the effort to move yourself in that direction. I always think of Mars and a, a transit of Mars as a intimate interaction with the serenity prayer. And the serenity prayer or serenity affirmation is grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. So these are three particular stances of action. And it is these three positions of power that you will come to know that much more deeply in the weeks ahead. So you've got about seven weeks of this energy. Use it well and know that this is the time when you may feel yourself being more fully aligned with a clarity as to what you really want and what is worth fighting for and instead what is worth surrendering. There is a, a true wisdom that can be found at this time where you are able to differentiate between what it is that you do have power over and what it is you don't. And to truly surrender things that you don't have power over is one of the greater freedoms that we can know as human beings. So this will be part of your sacred learning now and in the weeks ahead. Now, other than that, we've got a building social energy for much of this month, and we've got this beautiful, flirtatious and fun energy closing off the month. And so let's start with what is social. It is this part of the sky that has to do with friendships and group endeavors, personal and professional, that is especially lit up this month. And it starts early, right out of the gate, early in the month, right around the fourth, give or take a day on either side, depending on where you are on the planet, we will have this month's new moon. Now this new moon is one of the better full moons that I have seen in a while speaking in harmony with Neptune and speaking in supreme harmony with Saturn and with Pluto, both of these planets in your opposite sign. And so this tells me that people are very much a part of the picture, especially in the early part of the month. Now, whether it is social invitations, professional invitations, this is about the new opportunities that could find you now. And sometimes those opportunities are much bigger than they may appear on the surface. It looks like the good words of someone that you are already aligned with on a one-on-one -on -one basis or people who desire to align with you can be part of what opens up these bigger opportunities to you. Now, in addition to friendships and social events and uh, groups that you belong to uh, and professional endeavors that you do along with groups of people, this part of the sky is also connected to things like digital media, mass media, television, all of that is covered here. So where it is that you were hoping for big opportunities on those fronts, this may very well be that very possibility that opens up for you at this time. It looks to be a time that is on the one hand uh, can feel like a dream come true, but on the other hand, this is energy that says, 
that the changes that happen now, the way in which you're able to bring forward your own uh, talent, your own confidence, it can have the potential to change your life and change your direction in truly tangible ways for a very long time to come, well after this month is over. And the connections that you make now, the new projects and new people that you align with have the potential to bless your life in tangible ways well after this month is over as well. This is further affirmed by what else is happening in the sky. Well, it is going to be uh, under the light of this new moon that Mercury will move into this same part of the sky and immediately connect with Uranus. Uh, it is going to be a week later, right in the middle of the month, that Venus is going to enter this part of the sky and connect with Uranus. Now these factors together are very strong because what it says is that you are building on the energy. It's not just an isolated moment, but rather you continue to talk about it. There might be some negotiation. Uh, there may be some very surprised communication that happens immediately after uh, the new moon. But at the same time, there are blessings, blessings that are coming that can be truly very lovely, that can also find you very much by surprise, if not shock as well. For a small percentage of you out there, this might be a time when you feel like you have this moment of clarity about a friend or about a group alliance that makes you go, okay, I don't wanna go in this direction or I don't wanna be aligned with these people anymore. That really is okay should that show up for you. Just know that there is so much that is new, that is expansive, that is next, that is going to show up, that it tells me that this is the time to embrace the possibilities with absolute enthusiasm and openness because some of the best stuff is just going to show up for you. Now, as we navigate later into the month, it is right around the 18th of the month that we are going to have this month's full moon. This full moon is happening in fellow water sign Scorpio. Now, what's interesting about this full moon is that it is standing across the sky from Mercury. And so there's this sense of needing to consider other perspectives or having conversations from which you need to find a more balanced perspective or even compromise as well. But there is also a connection, a harmonious connection playing out with Pluto as well. And that's what I'm very encouraged about. This full moon is happening in a part of the sky that has to do with a few different things. Uh, things like your creative endeavors, your creative pursuits are covered here. If you are a person who uses your creativity to your advantage, well, that, uh, that prospect and those endeavors are gonna come into focus at this full moon. Children you want and children you have are covered here as well. And fertility may be uh, one of those things that is coming to the forefront at this time, as well as a desire to know your child or to help your child as parents do, um, to move forward with your child to make sure that they can be all that they can be. Well, some of that focus may come at this time as well. But for all that, this part of the sky is also connected to fun, okay? So being a big kid yourself or just enjoying your life in a carefree way, that can happen under this full moon and at least one really great opportunity to have fun may show up. The other layer of this is romance. So we've gotta talk about romance because this full moon is a romantic one. It's speaking in harmony with that Pluto in your opposite sign as well. Adding intensity, however, in order to get to that intensity, you're gonna need some intention. So what that means is, um, there's not a whole lot that's gonna happen if you're just sort of uh, not actively using this energy. You have to ensure that under the light of the full moon, you're planning to do things that are fun for you. That really can go a very long way towards opening up loving moments in your life, romantic or otherwise. Wherever it is that you feel you are going to enjoy yourself uh, and you are going to be with people or in a spirit of joy, that is where you are going to find love. Again, romantic or platonic love is available to you. But where it comes to romantic love, this is a very flirtatious and romantic energy 
that is going to be playing out. Again, there may be some negotiating or need to find a balance between your responsibilities or what other people want to do and what you really want to do. Uh, some consideration of what your friends are doing or uh, group endeavors, professional endeavors that you have to actually meet. Uh, perhaps deadlines are there and what it is that's going to be fun for you to do. But however it is that you find that right balance, you will and where it is that you actually ensure that you are cultivating this energy, you'll be able to cultivate memorable and romantic moments as well. For those of you open to meeting someone new, the uh, factor of making sure that you are doing something fun for you becomes that much stronger, becomes that much more likely. So make sure that you are spending time uh, with others. Whatever it is that you genuinely enjoy is going to open the door for a flirtation and the possibility of more. For those of you who are getting to know somebody, this is a beautiful energy for dating. If you've just started dating somebody, uh, this is going to allow you to consider things from their perspective. It is also possible with this that a friend or people that you are aligned with have certain opinions about this person that you are getting to know. Uh, regardless, it is ultimately you that is going to decide what the right move is for you in alignment with this person. And thanks to that Pluto connection, you're going to get to some truth about whether or not this feels like the right connection to continue or not. And in that way, this can be a very consequential time as well as you make a choice of whether or not to learn more about this person. And for those of you who are in an established bond, uh, what a beautiful full moon. It allows you to tap into this energy to rekindle romance, if you will. What happens a lot when you're in a long-term uh, relationship, uh, as it is the case with everybody, is that we sort of start getting into routines and we can uh, get into established ways of being. And then you have these moments that allow you to remember, that allow you to awaken, that allow you to feel that romance and that connection. Well, that's what this full moon is. But again, you'll have to bring some intention into it, meaning that you'll have to actually make sure you're using it, that you're planning something, uh, that you're communicating, that you're taking each other's uh, perspectives into consideration so that you can ensure that you are nurturing the bond. But with that little bit of attention, it can really go a long way towards facilitating truly memorable moments. What I love about this month for you, well, look, there is a lot here, but I love how Venus and Mercury are going to be in compatible placements to you. I love that new moon as well. All of this is saying that there are people around you, there are social events, there are professional events, there are people who want to align with you. It looks to be a truly fortunate time. And of course, it's up to you to stay open to the possibilities to connect with other people, uh, to nurture those bonds, but just a little bit of an effort it can go such a long way now towards truly seeing how the people that you know can expand your horizons personally, professionally, and in infinite ways. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. I don't know if you could hear that bird singing. That bird was really starting to sing <laughs> these last few seconds. I hope you enjoyed that as well. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.